or evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light, but his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. Very spiritual message coming to you from fathers who have been serving the Lord for such a long time from Mount Nebo, one of the holiest places in the Middle East. This was Ra'ed with you again, and let's hear the messages from our fathers. Good morning, everyone. I am Father Leo Sanchez, City a Passionist from General Santa City. I'm currently assigned in Santo Niño Parish, Phase 1, Babo Silang, Caloacan City, Philippines. And this is my first time here in Holy Land. I'm here at Mount Nebo, where tradition says Moses was buried. And it's a very beautiful place. And I've learned a lot from a short stay here about who was Moses and who were Israel, Israelites who were the people of God. And one thing I realized as a pilgrim, and as a pilgrim, you must never lose God. We must never lose this God who called us, who blesses us every day. And I realized that each and every one of us has a God in our life. And I'm inviting you to recognize this God to recognize this God who called you because God is the God of people, the God for everyone, for everybody. And He calls us every day. And His plan is for us to be His people, for us to be gathered in communion with Him. I'm Father Elmer, and uh, as a new priest coming from a seminary, I have a lot of ideas, and it's just an idea about the Bible. But now I'm here in Mount Nebu. Uh, I'm so happy and glad that I visited this place, the place where Moses uh, saw the land of uh, full of milk and, han milk and honey, and uh, as your uh, as a pilgrim, I am so excited to discover more the historical places and the biblical places where I, uh, I just read in the Bible with, where, when I was studying in the seminary and in theology. Now that I, I am here, I am so excited to, to learn more about that and the interpretation of the Bible. And thanks to our tour guide that he explained to us everything that the Bible, uh, what the Bible is all about and what's in the Bible, the historical, the archaeological, and a lot more. And thank you so much for, for having us, sir. Thank you and God bless you. You are a Hi, I'm uh, Father Orban Gonzaga from General Santos City, Philippines. And it's my first time to come here in Mount Nebo. I am 19 years as a priest, but it's uh, an eye-opening for me, especially for a very good guide to explain to us about the milk and honey. It's so interesting to look at this uh, desert and how it was interpreted. So it's really important to know the social context of the Bible and for that, in order for us to learn really. I didn't 
really realize that, that milk and honey is about shepherding. It's about agriculture, you know, where God is really asking the Israelites to be shepherd, to be humble in order to always surrender and follow His will in their lives. So I was so grateful that I am here with this uh, tour with my co-priests as we celebrate our 60 years of presence in the Philippines as, as passionists. So I hope you can also experience what I experience. It's great to be here and it's once in a lifetime, but it's very good. Thank God I'm here. Thank you.